Hello, Karen Brazo from Karen B's Acrylic or Alchemy Acrylic Art here. And um, I am here with my third video um, about framing and how to prepare surfaces for, for painting. This is a um, painting that I did for my daughter, as I've explained in the past. I've already done the back of the frame. And in one of my last videos, I went through uh, how I put this um, edging. This edging is tile edging. It comes in different colors and different finishes, and it even comes in plastic. And I really like to use it to frame up my artwork. So this is one piece that I've already put on, as you can see at the back here. So that's why I leave a one inch, at least a one inch gap uh, around my frames when I make them, because I like to have enough room to be able to put this nice uh, edging on. So I'm actually going to show you how I'm going to do that today. So again, as I mentioned, this comes in many different colors. Well, not many, I would say maybe, maybe three or four uh, in the metal type or the aluminum type anyways. And um, they also come in this plastic, uh, which is in a white or a cream. So you also have the option of putting these on instead of this aluminum type. So of course you need to measure. So basically, I did the measuring already for this one because I've already done the other side. So I am just going to clamp this up. Running out of large clamps. Okay, so that should be good enough. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be using a uh, metal saw. So, and I mentioned also that I've already measured, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this because I have a line here that's already marked. Usually try and take this tape off first, but it doesn't always come off very well. It's not really a big deal, you don't necessarily have to take it off. Okay. Turn this around. Okay, so what you want to do... I actually use the same lapage glue that I used when I uh, made my frames. But you don't need a whole lot of it. So you'll notice that there's two hinges. I mean, two, um, two slits in this material because they give you the option depending on uh, how thick your tiles are. Because this is uh, tile edging, as I've mentioned before. A 
actually don't have anything on me to spread it, so I'm just going to kind of use this pencil here. I'm just kind of spreading the glue in the groove. And I'm just going to make sure that the corner goes in here. So it just kind of slips right in. It's really, really easy to do. And then I'll just flip that around because you're going to want to clamp that. Doesn't need much clamping either because it, this 1 8 hardboard just fits right into the groove, it's just perfect. Three should be good enough. Okay. So you'll notice that there's a little bit of glue here showing, and I like to uh, get rid of that if I can. So I usually just use a pick and, and, a, and a rag to kind of get in there. This glue doesn't dry white. It's a little on the brown side, so if you have a white background, you know, you don't want that showing on your painting. You want to make sure that your your edge is nice and clean. Oh, actually got some on the painting here. You don't want to do that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So you just need to make sure that, you know, you take all the glue off because you don't want brown showing. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's about it. So there's your nice finished edge. And um, I'm going to wait at least 24 hours and then I'll be putting the other one on. I like to make sure that the first two are nice and dry and uh, so I basically just put the other two on the next day. So that's how the frame is done on those. Great, now I'd like to go through uh, just a very quick tutorial on how uh, I hang my paintings because they're, they're fairly heavy. So we're going to use the, uh, the resin, the heavy resin painting that I have. Well, that wasn't very good. Okay, so obviously you have to determine how you're going to be hanging the painting. So I already know that that will be hanging this way. You're going to need a drill for this part, for sure. And the hooks that I like to use are called uh, D-ring hooks. These are really strong. They're um, a little on the, little on the large side size but they're a really good size for this painting so this is what they look like here they have a little they're kind of like hanging with a little a little d-ring so we'll need two of those and four screws and then i buy this uh, heavy duty hanging wire you can buy hanging wire 
that will hold um, different poundages. So this one here will actually hold 25 pounds. So I know that this is definitely not 25 pounds. It's probably very close, but it's not. So I will be using the 25 pound hanging wire today. So I start with my D-ring and I usually like to have them, I should probably measure just to make sure. You don't want your string, you don't want your, um, your hanging wire to show. So you're going to need to eventually measure it, which I will go through. But you never want your, your D-ring to be right at the top here because you're surely going to be showing some wire to need the, the, the strength, the stability that you need to be able to hold the painting up. So I like to go about, we'll just measure here, about four inches down is usually a good measurement. You want your D ring, your D ring facing up this way, right? And you're using the screws for this. Okay. And you want to make sure that your other one is going to be at the same length. So again, your D ring is facing upwards. And you want to make sure when you buy these D-rings, they come with um, their own screws. But you want to make sure, you know, that if your your framing material here is only half an inch, you want to make sure that you're not buying getting nails that are longer than that. These ones are about a quarter of an inch thick uh, in length, so it's perfect. But you don't want any more than that because you're going to be going into your actual resin piece, and the last thing you want is to make a hole through your nice resin painting that you did. Okay, then you're going to take your wire. Now this is really heavy duty, so it's not that easy to measure up here. Okay, so you're going to want to loop it through the D-ring. And then you're going to want to just kind of pinch it pinch it over and then you're just going to take your end and you're going to just coil it, keep coiling it around your wire here so you get a nice strong fit and then you want to kind of tug and again you don't want your wire to show so you need to make sure that you're not leaving too much okay so this is about as much as I would want. So it's basically the exact length because it does stretch a bit and because this is heavy I'm actually going to go a little bit less. So so you take your measurement exactly to where where your other D-ring starts and then you're going to cut about four inches with some cutters. Put it through your D-ring. I'm going to make sure that it's, this is really tight because you want to make sure that you're not passing your frame. Okay, so again, you're going to wrap around and you're just going to coil it, keep coiling it until uh, you reach the, the end.
Okay, so that's it. Fairly easy. So I haven't gone over, so I don't have to worry that it's not going to show. And this is really strong. Uh, it will hold, no problem, because the wire itself holds 25 pounds, and you've got really good D-rings here. Nice and strong, so you don't have to worry. This will hang for, for years without falling. So the other option, if you have made a painting that doesn't have a frame, then you would use, again, some D-rings. I really like working with the D-rings, but of course you wouldn't use nails. And for this one, I actually, because it's, it's metal, I like to use uh, this contact cement glue, which is also from Lepage. It's really heavy duty, really strong stuff. Now for this one, you're gonna want gloves for sure. And the fumes from this uh, glue is not very good. It's really strong, so you'll wanna protect yourself. And just throw a mask on. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? We'll just slip that on. I hate putting these on, but you know what? That's okay. Okay. So, just gonna want to put. Make sure that you've got the flat edge of your uh, your D ring, and you're gonna want two of them. And again, you're going to want to measure, so I'm going to go about, I try and stick to four, four inches is pretty good for these. Okay, and then four inches from the edge is also good, so four and four is perfect. Okay, so you're just going to put some of this Lepage glue directly on there. I like to put a little bit on the board as well. Okay, this is good. And then your other one. Nice and straight. Okay, so this is perfect. And you'll want to make sure that your little D-rings are, well, kind of tipped, up, tipped up, just so that they don't accidentally get stuck down. So I just let that sit for about, well, at least a day, at least 24 hours. And uh, just make sure that they're nice and straight. So there you go, so you have your two D-rings with that contact cement glue. It will hold, it's really, really strong stuff. And of course, you're tomorrow, 24 hours, you can even wait two days, two days is even better. Um, wait two days, and then you're going to put your wire through. And you don't have to put a wire, you can, you know, people can just hang their paintings up this way. The only thing, you know, you really have to make sure that you've, you've put them nice and leveled and straight so that people don't end up with a crooked painting on their wall. Yeah, so that uh, ends the tutorial for the um, framing, how to frame and how to uh, hang up your pictures. So thank you for watching and uh, my next video coming up, as I mentioned a little earlier, that really large um, piece that I have, the, the frame is uh, ready to go. It's all nice and dry, so I will be doing a, a, a pour on that very shortly. So stay tuned for that and thank you for watching.